Hello, YouTube. Uh, another, uh, not another, it's the first fragrance haul video I've done on this channel. Um, but I have a fragrance haul. I already unboxed one, um, Coco Eau de Parfum. Um, I have Coco Noir, and uh, I do like Coco Noir. I just feel like that this uh, version is superior. Um, Coco Noir is uh, is darker, you know, mean, the Noir meaning black. Um, however, I think that Noir is, it, it borderlines on being somewhat immature because of, uh, just it's a newer flanker and, and it's almost like a, hmm, it's a mix between, it's, 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 it's basically the link. Sorry, I'm struggling to find the words. It's a link between uh, the original Eau de Parfum. Well, this isn't an original bottle, but I mean, uh, it's just the Eau de Parfum, the regular version. And Mademoiselle. So, yeah. Um, really, I always love the Chanel packaging. love that Chanel has their own boxes. Um, not only their own boxes such as this, but their own boxes as in uh, the box itself. Uh, also, um, opted for Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. I ran out of this a little over a year ago and I've just been so busy with, um, other fragrances that I really haven't, um, had the desire to put it back in my collection, but I, had, I wanted to, I was going to order from Tom Ford anyway, uh, get my girlfriend some lipstick and... You know, I thought I might as well spend the extra 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks, and, and just go ahead and buy it from Tom Ford. Uh, and really, really let down with Tom Ford is basically just came in a, a cardboard box with some packing around it. Really let down by Tom Ford, um, which people usually are when it comes to certain things like that. But the sin is, the sin is what matters. Um, Noir de Noir, classic, you know, setup, classic look. And yes, the same classic smell as always. Mm. Always beautiful when it comes to Tom Ford. You know, we all oftentimes crap on Tom Ford for a lot of their scents. Their Diamalf, what is that? Uh, Neroli Portofino, the Diamalfi, whatever you want to, you know. Which way is this going? I guess it goes on like that. You know, you can go on and on about some crap how tom ford is relatively crappy when it comes to certain scents like that but i digress beautiful rose i love the mossiness in here the woodiness uh supposedly has an as oud in here it's more than likely a synthetic oud but it is nice and funky um this and black orchid black orchid share some similarities Love the dark truffle note in here. Just a good date scent. I wore it a lot when I was a freshman in college. I uh, wore it all the time, actually. There was a girl in one of my classes. She absolutely loved it, and uh, I really just wore it for her. Uh, from Dior. Got some stuff from Dior. Love, I always love Dior's packaging. They always go um, overboard, I think with their packaging and you know I'm, I'm an idiot and i usually throw this stuff away but i might keep it this time let me see i'm gonna slide it off without that there we go there we go uh you know sometimes i keep, i'm gonna keep this actually I'm just gonna put it up here on my visor there we go oh the chanel package didn't come with the usually has a, like a little band around it it didn't have it this time i wonder if they're mad at me Ah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Before I open up the Dior, I have uh, some samples from Tom Ford. Uh, Blue de Chanel. You know, can give a crap less about it, honestly. I don't care who I offend. Uh, it's just Blue de Chanel. Oh, well. Um, Sublimage. Uh, less grains. De vani, 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 uh, probably like lotion or something. Uh, Blue de Chanel. Uh, face and beard moisturizer. I, I, it's kind of interesting, I think. And um, Chance. So, decided to uh, wear this again. It's been a while since I've tried Chance. It's also been a while since I've tried a lot of these um, desi designers. 
And it's not because I don't love them, it's not because I don't like them. And here's the, the Tom Ford Solel. It's not because I don't like them, it's just simply because, you know, there's, there's, I don't want to say better, but there's different ones out there. Throw that away. Uh, your Shadow, it's for her, not me. Uh, Mason, this is, what is this? It says this is mascara as well, but yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the one I ordered and this is the curling one. I don't know the difference. I guess it's, I don't know. I'm not an expert. Here are some samples, some more samples. I love samples. This is, uh, Capture Total Energy, Cell Energy, uh, Super Potent Serum. The skin. Uh, Dior Ohm. This is, I guess, this is the new version. Uh, 2020. I'm not sure if 20, if it's really 2020, they said they're going to bring back the original, but I don't think they did. This is a lip maximizer. I don't really all care for that stuff too much. And then Miss Dior. Oh, this is, I think this is actually a, a mini bottle rather than actual sample. And I am right. I am right. Look how cute that is. Wow, I like that. It's cute. Um, from what I've heard, it's uh, Miss Dior has been reformulated beyond belief. So take it as you will. And here is what I'm here for. Uh, I've talked about these fragrances several times, but you know. I, sample a lot I sample a lot and you know I think it's only fair that if I sample a lot I need to buy uh, I, I don't mind samples but I prefer full bottles just to say that I do own it you know it's not pride it's just something within me and this is hypnotic poison I do love it. Um, I think it's amazing. It's been out for quite as long as it has, and you know, still doesn't necessarily get the recognition I believe it deserves. It's a 50 ml bottle. It's the Eau de Toilette, and, and people, you know, are gonna say or ask, you know, do I really care about reformulations? And, and, and not really. Um, as long as the reformulation doesn't smell like you know synthetic junk, like. Tom Ford, uh, Noir, not, not Tom Ford, Noir, Tom Ford 2020 done. It's absolutely crap. Oops, come on, baby. Oh, yeah, let me show you the bottle. I, I, I do, I love the Dior atomizers. Love the Dior caps. Hypnotic poison. Um, this is one that, you know, I don't think that has, I don't think has been destroyed by, you know, powers that be. And this is not a stain. This is water. Oh, yeah, yeah, that endolic sweetness with a nice feminine uh, skin touch. Always enjoyed it. <sighs> kind of rubbery, probably comes from patchouli, but I absolutely love it, absolutely love it. And then we have Dior Poison, Dior Poison, I've, I've looked around at original bottles and i've talked with some people and luckily enough people have been transparent with me to say yeah the top notes have dissipated um the top notes have you know gone away and you know i'm thankful for those for their honesty and i'm thankful for their um transparency uh, not you know just lying to try to sell me a bottle which oftentimes people do but your poison but if i can find an older bottle that the top notes haven't dissipated uh i definitely will hop on that as soon as i can i'll hop on it like a like a sorority girl will hop on a frat boy and as you can see i'm having to spray these a couple times because they haven't been sprayed before oh, nice sprayer nice atomizer oh yeah yeah there we go 
Oh, yes. The Andalic Florals Jasmine. Musk, very, very dark, very deep. And probably darker than Noir de Noir. Wow. Beautiful as always. Definitely going to be giving these some wearings this winter. I'm um, both... All of all the fragrances really from Coco to to Hypnotic Poison to Poison to <laughs> Noir de Noir. Gonna be wearing these all, so hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you all enjoyed this haul. Uh, let me know some of the fragrances that you Hold on, sorry, I couldn't tell if that was a bruise or um Hypnotic poison stained my skin. I think that's a bruise. Kind of like uh, Dior was known for staining women's uh, breasts in the uh, 80s. So, love the way I smell. Hope you love the way you smell. Hope everyone has a great day.